Hi students, today's topic is about safety measures. Before going to the topic, I want to relate one of the incidents happened in uh, LG Polymers Factory Wise Act this uh, chapter because reminiscent of uh, Bhopal gas tragedy, the same happened in the last Thursday is being a gas leakage. Maybe we don't know the actual reasons of uh, how this leakage happened. After a few days of lockdown, it has been reopened and uh, the storage of uh, the gas has been exploded and the people surrounding the factories have been affected because of this gas leakage. Around uh, 11 people died in this uh, leakage disaster. Now, what actually factory has to be given as safety measures? That is what this chapter is been uh, explaining. That is from 21, section 21 to 40 explains about what kind of safety measures has to be given with the factory occupiers when they are running the factory only what it talks about uh, first section that is 21 section talks about fencing of machinery regarding transmission machinery if dangerous rotating parts which have been uh, included in the machinery means it has to be properly provided with safety measures that is what this fencing of machinery talks about before going to explain i want to show you a picture to just see this picture that is every moving part of a prime mover or every flywheel connected to a prime mover whether the prime mover or flywheel in the engine house or not then automatically what uh, factory people has to do is it has to be fenced properly any stock for which projects beyond the headstock of the it. All these things has to be securely fenced by safeguards of uh, substantial construction which we maintained and kept in the position. That is what this fencing of machinery is talking about. If you come across with this picture, a machine is being fenced properly with the iron shield where the prime movers have been rotating when it should not affect the safety of the that the shield will protect the worker while he is in the machine is in the working condition that is what the section talks about fencing of machinery then coming to the next section work on or near machinery in motion that is wherever the missionaries are in motion then people who are all being appointed near the missionary in case of uh, uh, near the missionaries of uh, work is being required then uh, they should be workers shall not handle a belt at a moving pulley that is uh, regarding the missionary terms it is being given according to this uh, section 22 that is uh, such examinations or operations shall be made and specified trained adult male worker only has to be appointed in that particular machinery near motion um, working where tight fitting clothing all has to be maintained by the worker when he is working near machinery in motion these are all has to be followed according to the section 22 then uh, coming to the uh, section 23 in in person's employment it is being prohibited that is it should not be uh, allowed people who have been appointed for in persons in a dangerous machines according to section 23 it talks about they are strictly prohibited to be appointed in the place of dangerous machines why this section has been given is uh, 
people who were working in the dangerous machines means special care or some uh, intensive care has to be taken regarding the machines when they are working for that reason young persons or adolescents child should not be appointed in case of uh, factories where they are working then coming to the section 24 striking gears and device for cutting of power when i want to talk about this i want to show you a picture that is striking gears and devising for cutting power if you talk about uh, one of the picture uh, if you see this this are all the cut of power devices is being used in the factories uh, it has to be in every factory suitable striking gears or the mechanical appliance shall be provided for uh, maintaining and use it to move driving belts to and from fast and loose it pulleys which form part of the transmission machinery and such gears or appliances shall be so constructed placed and maintained properly in the factory premises that is wherever this particular striking gear is required this device is required they has to be properly maintained in the uh, within the premises of the factory that is what this uh, section talks about next uh, coming to this uh, self acting machine that is human influence is being very less when we talk about this section uh, no privacy part of self acting machines in any factory no material carry there of if the space over which it runs in a space where uh, any person is liable to pass means then proper uh, uh, outward or inward uh, traverse has to be maintained regarding the self acting machine that is a person moving near to that self acting machines means proper distance has to be maintained and uh, chief inspector may permit the continued use of the machine installed before the commencement of this act which is being given under this uh, section 25 if i if i if i want to show this this is what self acting machines look like that is uh, here no traversing part of self acting machines in a factory no material should be carried out in place over which it runs in a space over which any person is liable to pass this is what this section talks about next coming to the casing of new machineries when a new machinery has been then auto the, the proper uh, casing of machinery has to be done every set of screws bolts or key or any revolving shaft spindle wheels all has to be uh, taken care by the guarded as to prevent danger that is before casing that is before going to start the machinery what they have to do is they have to check with the uh, for example if you see in this picture the person whoever casing the machinery uh, he is been switching off the power supplies in, before installing the uh, machinery and after fitting of every each and every part of the machinery then only he has to go with the installation or uh, switching on the power button this is what it has been given in the section 26 that is all these sections talks about the safety of the employees that is workers when they are being used near the factory machines or the premises when they are working then coming to the next section prohibition of employment of women uh, and child children that is near cotton openers for example if you see this uh, picture 
cotton openers will be like this uh, where some um, dangerous uh, operations or hazardous places which been affect the children and the women for that reason only um, they are being prohibited in the cotton openers which is been given under section 27 itself that is no woman or child is been appointed in the, in the near cotton openers according to the section that is what the 27 section talks about then coming to this 28 hoist and lifting that is uh, when they are going acting with the uh, lifting of bait or materials whatever it be in the premises that is uh, good mechanical constructions materials adequate strength is required means no human is being involved in lifting the machines for that what they are uh, doing is they have to go with this type of equipments uh, which has to be maintained in the active premises for lifting that is this much uh, limit of weight only has to be taken by a human if uh, more than that if people are doing means they have to go with the uh, hoist and lifts which is being given under section 28 then coming to that section 29 lifting machines chains ropes and uh, lifting tackles also what we say it as that is uh, example if you see to take this load to the upper stairs then this type of machines has to be followed by the workers when they are going with this type of operational work this has to be the provision which is being given under section 29 this is what about the 29 section term. that is this type of voice this type of lifts is being given under section 28 and 29 talks about this machines ropes uh, this type of things only which has to be used when they are handling with the mechanical materials for uh, going with the manufacturing process.